All right, so let's take a look at Barbara versus Noel. For Barbara, she's been my main healer in the early game out in the wild, but I think it's time to finally switch it up. So we have her attack, which she does the hydro damage. This is the most important two pieces. First part, let the show begin. When you pop this, this is her E ability. When you pop her E ability, it gives you a healing bonus that attaches to anyone that you switch to, including Barbara. If you leave it on Barbara, it'll heal her. If you switch to whatever other character in your party, it will heal them as well, okay? This scales to her HP. So whatever her HP is, it'll generate that much healing. I think it's around seven seconds, all right? Now, when she uses her alt or her burst ability, it is shining miracle. What this does is that it heals everyone in the party for a large amount of HP that scales with her max HP. So the higher that Barbara's HP is, is the higher amount of healing that each character will receive. Based on let the show begin, right now I'm getting an average of about 750 healing HP to whoever I switch with. Shining Miracle, it gives them everybody right around 75% of their health back, if not more, depending on where they are currently. Now, what's important here is that I think that Noelle is going to be more viable in later game instances. Okay, so you have her attack, right? You have her attack, but you also have these two things. Breastplate summons protective stone armor dealing geo damage to surrounding enemies and creating a shield. Okay, the shield is very, very good. Okay, now the shield is damage absorption scales to her defense. All right, that's one piece of the puzzle. So when Noel's normal and charge attacks hit a target, they have a certain chance to regenerate HP for all characters. 250% absorption efficiency against geo damage, okay? So the amount of HP healed when regeneration is triggered scales based on her defense, okay? And then we have this, which is another attacking move from her. And then we have devotion. When Noelle is in the party but not on the field, this activity triggers when the active character's HP falls below 30% creates a shield that lasts for 20 seconds and absorbs damage equal to 400% of Noelle's defense. It's, it can only be active once every 60 seconds, okay? So now, if we're taking a look at what we have here, right now, her defense is at 482. The only one that has higher defense is Sucrose on my team. So right now, with Noelle being at level 39, Sucrose is at 60. If I max out Noel, get her to 60 as well, the rest of my characters, I think that she will provide not only better defense, uh, the immunity from the shield based on her defense level, I think that she'd be able to keep my team alive longer than Barbara would because Barbara, hers have to be triggered and not by attacking. So if Noel is built for not only for attack and defense, she'd be able to heal my whole team just by doing damage. Barbara, I have to turn to her, pop her either E or her burst ability, and hope that it heals my team enough. Now, the reason why this is important is because I just hit world tier three, and with Barbara on the team, I've gotten wiped consistently against the world bosses that I was running through before at world tier one and even world tier two. So just something to keep in mind that this is what I'm going to be testing as I level up Noel, and I will make a follow-up video that will address this. But I 100% think that Noel is going to be more viable because of her two abilities and her passives that you get by leveling her up. Thank you for your time. Make sure and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Tell your friends, tell everyone. Visit me on Twitter, Twitch, everywhere. If you have socials, I'm there. Lars56. Thank you all for watching.